Two eight five one, turn right heading one eight zero. Hey everyone, welcome back to DJ's Aviation. Following the incident involving ET302, many were quick to speculate as to what caused the crash. Some believed that the incident was linked with JT610, while others believed it was a one-off incident that was completely unrelated. While people speculated for weeks on end, Boeing and the FAA announced the grounding of the entire 737 MAX series just as a precaution to keep all passengers and crew safe. This was some two and a half weeks ago, and since then, that grounding is still in effect. In recent hours, though, we've had a major breakthrough thanks to a report that was published by the Wall Street Journal on the 29th of March in the afternoon for all Australians. This breakthrough is involving ET302, which sadly saw 157 people lose their lives. According to the investigators who have been studying the events which took place during ET302, they have reached the preliminary conclusion that an anti-stall system was indeed activated before the aircraft hit the ground. Since March the 10th, we've been awaiting the preliminary report. At first, it was expected to arrive within weeks, and this week a rumour said that the report would be released within a matter of days. However, Ethiopian airlines themselves, who have been quick to shut down any fake news being reported on their social media platforms, said that this was indeed a fake report, and that a preliminary report date of release has not yet been determined. Many, though, have been speculating and have said that it could be arriving very soon. The reason why this breakthrough is critical is that investigators also focused on the anti-stall system, which is called the MCAS, on the Lion Air 737 MAX, which went down in Indonesia in October of last year. I won't claim that I am an expert on MCAS or know very much about it. I would, though, recommend videos from other creators and also other articles online. These people do thoroughly explain what it is in great detail if you wish to learn more about the MCAS. With that being said, what are your thoughts on the report released by the Wall Street Journal, indicating that the anti-stall system was activated before the aircraft hit the ground? Let me know down in the comment section below. And as always, thank you very much for watching this video of mine. One more quick thing, please try to be as respectful as possible when commenting your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Race all of these broken dreams in flight And we'll fly